Vaginal discharge is a topic that no one wants to talk about. When women come into our consulting rooms, they beat about the bush that because they find it very difficult to say that they have vaginal discharge. But please, believe you me, we see a lot of women with vaginal discharge. There's no news to us. We want to help you. That is why we are here. Vaginal discharge can vary in amount, consistency, color, and even the smell. It's usually very common in women after puberty, though every woman can have it. In this video, we are going to talk about the different types of vaginal discharge, the colors, red, gray, green, yellow, and even clear. If you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. This is Time with Dr. Adams. Please subscribe. Thank you. Time with Dr. Welcome to another episode of Time with Dr. Adams. If today is your first time on my channel, thank you for stopping by. This is my channel. My name is Dr. Saki. You can call me Dr. Adams. Let's start with the normal vaginal discharge. This is clear. When you see on your panty or your panty liner a clear vaginal discharge, there's nothing to be worried about. This usually happens when you are ovulating, when you are pregnant, or even when you are sexually aroused white vaginal discharge this can also mean that everything is normal it becomes a problem when the white discharge becomes very thick and clumpy like cottage cheese or milky this is when we will say that you have trash or what we usually call white or candidiasis this comes with the burning sensation you can have burning sensation when you pass urine there can be swelling of your vulva or even a bit of it reddening up some women can also be asymptomatic now how do we treat trash you can buy over-the-counter medication antifungal medication because trash or candidiasis sorry is caused by a fungus the antifungal uh, medication can be in the form of a cream where you just apply on your vulva and where you are having the itchiness or the redness or the soreness. You can, it can come in a form of tablets where you swallow it or pastries. Now, please do not confuse tablets with pastries. Pastries is put inside the vagina. Thank you. Gray. What does it mean when your vaginal discharge is gray? It simply means you have what we call bacterial vaginosis. This is when the PA system of your vagina changes. Please, this is not a sexually transmitted infection, meaning you cannot pass it on to your sexual partner. Bacterial vaginosis has a very offensive smell. It's usually very fishy, so you cannot miss it. If you are having a um, vaginal discharge that is gray or the odor from your vagina is fishy, please, just visit your doctor. This can be treated with an antibiotic, but do not go and buy any antibiotic because you might miss it. Just go to your doctor and tell the doctor you are having a vaginal discharge that is gray and is fishy. It will help you out with an antibiotic. Yellowish or greenish vaginal discharge. This can mean that you have a sexually transmitted infection. Yes, it means either you got it from your sexual partner or you gave it to your sexual partner. It is transmitted between people who are having sexual intercourse. It can be gonorrhea, chlamydia, and uh, trichomoniasis. Let's start with yellow. If you have a yellowish vaginal discharge or like something like um, cloudy discharge, it means you might have gonorrhea. Some women um, can be asymptomatic, others can have abdominal pain, pain in your vagina when you are urinating, intermenstrual bleeding. It means in between your menstrual periods, you can have a bit of bleeding in there. Please, gonorrhea can mess up your life. It can affect your eyes, it can affect your urethra, it can even affect your rectum. And then Mothers can pass it on when they are pregnant to their babies. So if you're having any of these symptoms, please rush to the hospital and be treated. And please, it is treated with antibiotic. Anytime you are told that you have gonorrhea, do not be selfish. 
please take your sexual partner to the hospital and let your sexual partner be treated as well. Do you know why? Because if you alone are treated and your sexual partner is untreated, probably your sexual partner also has it. You've probably given it to him or her. So the next time you have, even though you've been treated, the next time you have sex with that person, you are going to be reinfected again. So anytime you are being treated for a curable STI, you have to be treated and your sexual partner has to be treated as well. Now let's talk about when you have green vaginal discharge. This can mean that you have what we call trichomoniasis. This is a very big word, right? Frothy, yellowish, greenish discharge means you have trichomoniasis. Now this is the commonest non-viral sexually transmitted infections we have in the whole world. Yes, the prevalence of trichomoniasis is more than gonorrhea, syphilis, and even chlamydia. A lot of people are working about with this because you can have it and still be asymptomatic. Apart from being asymptomatic, sorry, meaning you have no symptoms as well at, at all. You can have uh, pain when you, you are urinating. You can have abdominal pain as well. Please, this is also very treatable. It's treated with an antibiotic. Go to your hospital, see your doctor, and let your doctor help you. Now let's move on to when you are having a pink vaginal discharge. This can mean that your menses is about to start. I'm a woman, so I know that when you are one or two days away from having your menstrual cycle, you can start having some sport, which is pink. It's just telling you that you are about to have your menstrual cycle. And then as well, postcoital bleeding. This is when we are after having sex. You know, the penis enters the vagina and sometimes there are a bit of bruises during sexual intercourse. So after the sexual intercourse, you are going to see just a bit of pinkish um, fluid from your vagina. This is okay because it is after sex. And then we have what we call implantation bleeding. So, God being so wonderful, when the uterus is there and there is no fertilized egg in it, it's about to break down and for your menses to actually start. So, this uterus is all ready with a lot of vessels, ready to start menstruation, and then boom, you have a fertilized egg. So, the uterus gets a bit uh, confused and then it releases a bit of blood. It doesn't mean anything. It's just implantational bleeding. It will stop and it will go away. Okay. Um, another example of when you can have vaginal discharge that, that is pink is when you have cervical um, infection. Please, this as well, go to your doctor and let your doctor help you. Let's move on to the next uh, color. That is red. Red, when we say red, menstruation yes your menses have started but then if you are not in your menstrual cycle and you are bleeding then there is a problem it can be cervical polyps cervical polyps is when around your sex if you haven't watched my video on vagina please go to my playlist find the women's health videos and watch when i explain what um, these organs are in the reproductive system of the woman. Around the cervix, you can have some growths that can bleed sometimes. That is what we call cervical polyps. And you can see a red discharge on your panty. It can also be endometrial cancer. So if you are not bleeding, if you are not having your menses and you see a red discharge, please follow up on this. If you are pregnant and you see that you are bleeding, if it is not an implantation, then it can be that you are having a miscarriage or what we call abortion. Please speak to your medical doctor or go to your nearest health center to be helped. Also, you can have what we call endometrial cancer. This is when you have intermenstrual bleeding. When you're not supposed to be having your menses, you see that you are bleeding. Please go to the doctor and be helped. Now, the last <laughs> color I want to talk about is brown. When you take your panty off and you see that you have a brown discoloration of your vaginal discharge, this can mean that you, you just ended your menstrual period. It happens to me. I don't know about you. Tell me in the comment section below. Most women have this brownish color just after they are done with their menses. If you are in your menopausal age, and you still see this brownish discoloration, please see a doctor because it can be something more 
than uh, what you are thinking it could be endometrial cancer or any type of uh, cervical infection as well With all this said, now let's talk about prevention, how we can take good care of our vagina. I already have a video on this vagina. It is self-cleansing. God being so good, the universe being so wise, made the vagina in such a way that it can cleanse itself. You do not need to do anything. Just imagine this is your vagina. This is the lips, that's the vulva. All you have to do is to just wash with water. You wash this part, that's your brain or mom's pubis with water because it has a bit of hair there. You can just add mouth soap to it. Please, you pat your vulva and wash with just water. I beg of you, do not insert your finger in there and wash your vagina because your vagina actually is a canal. You do not do, need to do this. Wash the canal, which is the vagina. The vagina is self-cleansing. Eat well-balanced diet. Hydrate often. And anytime you see any of this vaginal discharge, rush to the hospital to see your doctor. Please, wear cotton breathable panties because anything that keeps moisture or heat in your vagina can change the pa system of your vagina which can breed infections and can bring about all these problems we're talking about apart from stis so let your vagina breathe enough of wearing every day too much of tight clothing wear breathable clothes this was time with dr adams thank you for listening if you have any comment questions um if there are any topics you want me to cover please let me know in the comment sections thank you and please subscribe see you in the other Time with Dr. Adams. Time with Dr. Adams.